As the 1898 football season approached, the Nebraska Bug Eaters were once again without a head coach. Who would the school be able to hire to lead the football team to another victorious season? Well, Fielding Yost obviously made, is in the College Football Hall of Fame. He, he, he got their coaching at, at the University of Michigan. I mean, he, he, uh, he was a young guy when he came to Nebraska. Had success here, but it's one of those coaches, if you look at it and say, what coaches are in the College Football Hall of Fame that coached at Nebraska? Fielding Yost is one of those guys. He was a very popular coach brought a lot of knowledge and brought a lot of respect. Uh, he was very well known in the sport and when he came to Nebraska, the perception that people had of the Nebraska football program changed overnight because if it was good enough for Yost, it was good enough for them. Under the direction of Fielding Yost, the Nebraska Bug Eaters began their 1898 football season by defeating Hastings College by the amazing score of 76 to zero. And in the following weeks, the Bug Eaters easily won their next four games. But soon it was time for Nebraska to face a rematch against their arch rival, Kansas. The Nebraska Bug Eaters traveled by train down to Lawrence, Kansas to undertake the mighty KU Jayhawks. Once more, the long-haired heroes of Kansas and Nebraska have met and a winning score of 18-6 for NU sends a thrill of joy to the heart of every loyal son and daughter of the old university. Towards the end of the second half, referee Foltz called the game on account of darkness, although three minutes yet remained. Final score, Nebraska 18, Kansas 4. Nebraska may have a new coach, but they haven't changed their ways in illegally winning games against my Jayhawk team. The game was not played out in its entirety since the referee called it with three minutes still remaining. Therefore, when the question comes up, whether there was a game or not, in my opinion, there was none played. And if you reporters are to do your job correctly, then no loss for us or victory for Nebraska can be recorded in the books. The only solution to what happened today is for Nebraska and us to replay the game and done right. The 1898 Nebraska-Kansas game was never replayed. And by the end of the season, the Bug Eaters won eight games and lost three enabling the Nebraska team to win the conference pennant for the second year in a row. However, although the 1898 football team had triumphed on the gridiron, the sport was almost eliminated from the university in April of 1899. A mass meeting was held in the chapel Wednesday morning to take action on athletic matters. Financial Secretary Max Westerman has advised that athletics be dropped entirely from the university if the remaining debt of $250 cannot be raised at once. If the association cannot pay its past debts, there is no use of incurring new ones. In all, a total of $210 was either collected or pledged, leaving still a deficit of about $40. Through the donations of the faculty, staff, and students, the football team and other athletic programs were saved but the team still lost their winning coach. Since he was not guaranteed a job for the following season, Fielding Yost accepted the position as head football coach at Nebraska's rival, Kansas. In the future, Fielding Yost would become one of the most successful coaches in football history at the University of Michigan. Again, I often wonder what the University of Michigan would be like if Yost had never come, uh, and how what Nebraska might be like uh, had he stayed. Of course, Nebraska was able to bring in some other great coaches uh, shortly after him. But I think one of the reasons why uh, Nebraska did was because Yost came in and gave it the blessing. And people now understood that this was a serious program to be dealt with.